Hello YouTube, we are back and it is Skoda time. Right. I am going to show you around this little beauty that we recently bought. If you saw the last video, you would know what is going on here. Had a bang on this front corner and we are going to today pull it apart. Um, look at the suspension and see exactly what's wrong with it because I mean it's pretty obvious isn't it that that is like it's better than race spec camber that is full on drift camber so the car is uh, no doubt taking a whack here bent the suspension um, so until I actually pull it off I don't know the full extent of the damage but uh, we got a pretty good idea what's wrong with it we've got scuffs along the front bumper I think we can clean up and wax a lot of them but before we get into pulling it all apart you're probably going to want to know how much I paid for it so first of all it's a 2014 and it's a uh, one litre city go now see that green there I think that means it's the green tech version. I've looked it up and it does appear to be the green tech version. And what that means is free tax. Also, it's got the stop start feature. Don't want to bother about that. See what the wife thinks of that when she drives it. But I'm pretty happy with free tax. But even if it wasn't, it's only 20 quid. I think as well they got more power. I think this should have 74 horsepower instead of 60, like the others got. Something like that. I'm not an expert. If you know better, you let me know. Bring it. Right, no, I was going to tell how much I paid for him. Right, so I paid twelve hundred in the core part of the auction. It's cat N, which is non-structural damage. That's pretty obvious to see. So my bid was twelve. Fees were two hundred and sixty-three. So fourteen sixty-three to get it out the core part. Hundred pound to get it delivered. Um, so that takes me to fifteen sixty-three, and. I don't see this costing a lot to repair. Um, I've already got a wing in the same colour. I've already got the suspension. I think I've got pretty much most of what I need. Didn't cost me much, but I'll cover that in another video. The plan for today is to strip it down, have a look how much damage is on it, show you what uh, we've got to do. Next video will be starting to put it all back together. So, first thing I'm going to do, jack it up, take the wheel off. And then we can start having a look at the suspension and see how much damage has been done to it. Right, so that's it all stripped off. The thing I struggled with the most was getting the scuttle off. Uh, clip down into you, so to unclip it from the side there, and then it did pop out. But 
that was a bit awkward but here's the suspension leg if you look at that clearly see the bend there can't you uh, now you're probably wondering why have I taken the hub off why have I taken everything off well I learnt my lesson with that on the Fiesta before I only changed the suspension strut I didn't change the hub but the lesson I've learned is whenever you buy a car that's been in an accident and it's been hitting the wheel always change the hub because you might not notice it but they can bend the, the point because obviously the wheel took an impact so the hub shaft could be bent in there oops I don't know if it is can't see anything but the uh there it won't stand up right also there could be a bend in here we don't realize so I'm not going to take any chances so I've got a whole new strut that's ready to go on I'll go on in the next video I'm not doing it right away now because what I want to do now is take the arch lining out get the wing off um, also what a good look in here and I can't see any other damage everything else looks fine I mean the, the ball joints are fine that's quite nice and stiff so I won't be swapping that that one's stiff as well uh, so it's all pretty good so let's see now arch line out they say and start trying to get this wing off That is it, everything is stripped down. I haven't found any damage to worry about underneath. This bracket's a little bent, which is nothing. Um, I'm probably gonna have to put a bit of a heat gun and try and uh, straighten this bumper out. It's got a bit of a kink in there. Obviously these scratches, most of them I'll wax out. Pretty sure we can make that look pretty decent other than that there, I'll need to touch that in. It has bent this bracket here, Let's push that in and that then crack the underside of the headlight if I can turn this over just here there that's nothing that no, I'm not going to replace the headlight for that I'll seal that up to be honest I'll probably just silicone it I won't waste my time with a plastic weld or anything I'll just um, seal them up um, that is basically it it is all ready to go back together now I've already got a wing in red I'll show you that in tomorrow's video because I'm almost wrapping up for today. Tomorrow I'm going to come back. We're going to put the new wing on. We'll see, uh, straighten this up. And then we'll put the full suspension strut. That's there. Minus the brake caliper. Minus the brake caliper. I'm going to be reusing the brakes that uh, are on this and the disc. So, that's pretty much it. Oh, one thing I didn't tell you earlier really in the video. Um, it's on 43,000 miles, so I know you're going to want to know that. So I'm pretty happy with this, I'm pretty chuffed. Um, even from the pictures, I had assumed the damage would be no more than a bent strut. I was thinking maybe wishbone um, track rod, but they're fine. So it's even easier than I expect. So I've got every part I need, which is basically simple. Tomorrow I'm going to be back. Maybe not tomorrow for you, but it'll be tomorrow for me. I'm going to be back. Trying to get this back together, and it's going to be a runner. Thanks for watching this video. See you on the next one. Bye.